going on guys uh i just wanted to make a quick couple minute video uh we're not working on anything today but i just wanted to do this review i have i just put a vertical exhaust on my 48 ford 8 n and i i took it out and i ran it a little bit and i'm going to give you my thoughts on it um and that is this is way better than the stock exhaust you see right there i still got to take that little silver hanger off but uh the main reason why i got this exhaust was because i wanted to not get asphyxiated when i was hooking up implements which is what was happening um but I just got this from All States Ag. I ordered it through Amazon. It was like 80 some dollars, 90 some dollars, I think, maybe. Uh, and there was a couple things I was really nervous about. One, I was afraid that this wasn't going to be tall enough to keep the exhaust from coming straight back in my face. And also, would there be enough room so I can still tweak the carburetor if I need to? And the answer to both is no it does not come back in my face the exhaust it's tall enough i haven't got a ring guard for it yet um nobody around here had a one and a half inch in stock but uh no this is tall enough it's not in my face at all um and also you can see you still have all the room to adjust your carburetor if you need to which is nice it just it just loops right around and it has this muffler clamp on it and the bracket that goes to your head bolt that's torqued uh, 65 to 70 foot pounds. And that's what holds it in. It's, I mean, it's, it's, it's solid. Uh, a couple of the colors that you can get is you can get the regular uh, kind of grayish look like you might see off of exhausts in tractor supply. I decided uh, to go with the second choice, which is this black. And this is not a high heat paint. This is like a rough, like coating, is what that is. I, it's it looks like it's very scratch resistant. Um, but I went with that because I think that looks good with the black exhaust manifold. So um, another thing I will say is, um, as most people who own a Ford Eight N know. They do not have donuts where the exhaust pipe connects to the exhaust manifold. So what I do, as you can see, I use a muffler tape. If you can see that right there. What I do is I get this set up where I want it, and I wrap this tape around uh, where this connects, and then bolt it down. Well, once you fire the engine up and the exhaust manifold gets up to temperature, it will actually shrink and form you can see here, here how hot that is, or how hard that is. It'll shrink and form to that, and I tell you, that works so good knocking down that uh, exhaust leak that a lot of them have if you don't have this. So, you know, I, I just, it's, it's all the way around. It's already formed. I got the tractor up to temperature, and there's really no exhaust leak right there. But yeah, when that stock exhaust you see laying right there, when I was hooking up, say, this brush hog or whatever, that thing was right in my face, and I, I'm the person, you know, I'll leave the tractor running while I'm hooking up an implement, because, you know, there's, there's really no point in shutting it off. Um, so, in terms of sound, that is one complaint I do have. Um, the noise in this exhaust comes back to you when you're moving forward. And it is kind of loud versus where it's underneath of you and going away from you. See, I, and that surprised me because this one is closer to your head than this one, but the noise uh, goes back. That's really the only complaint I have. Uh, when I'm out brush hogging for like hours and hours, I'll wear a pair of earplugs when I have the RPMs up on this jewel. But uh, no, no, I'm 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 liking this. 
even though it's not originally what was on the tractor they made them for a reason and i like it you know i'm not really worried about tree branches or anything i don't do a whole lot of uh trail cutting where the tree limbs are hanging you know down at face level um Like I said, this is not a project video. The project is my next video. We're going to be doing some modifications to this uh, five foot bush hog that I have. So if you want to see that, go ahead and subscribe. And I'll have my Instagram, TikTok, and uh, Snapchat in the description too. Uh, give this video a like if this helped you out uh, determining what, what you want. Um, and subscribe to the channel. Thanks guys.